Hey guys, Kayla and Elvin the Farm, and I want to show you something. Um, I had a first time mama tonight who had babies, and she doesn't know what she's doing, and she didn't put them in the nest, and there wasn't enough fur on them, and they almost froze to death. Now, here's the thing about baby rabbits. A baby rabbit is not dead until it's warm and dead. Now, these guys are cold, and I've got them in lukewarm water trying to warm them up, and you can see this one's coming back. This one is slowly starting to come back. There's no blood in the nails in anybody yet, which I'll show you after I get everybody warmed up. So I'm hoping they're gonna come back. Now, I've got them floating in a Ziploc bag, and that's warm water, like it's not hot, not cold. It's just, it, you don't wanna warm them up too awful fast. Um, but I'm gonna sit them in here and try to get them warm. I've got a heat pad warming up on the tub so that as soon as these guys are warm enough to start pulling out of here, I can stick them over there and keep them warm. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how this works so that you don't, if you have babies born and you think they're dead, you know, you don't, don't throw them away, don't feed them to something, don't, whatever you do with your dead babies, don't do that until you're sure they're dead and you've gotta get them warm first to be sure. Um, some of these guys, you know, are not coming to, so they may be actual goners, but I'm just gonna get everybody warmed up before I make that call. And you can see I've got the bag open so everybody's still getting air. Like I don't want everybody wet, but I want them to be able to get warm, you know, pretty quick. Um, another secret is like when I found them out there, I immediately, since I knew they were cold, I immediately shoved them in my bra. Um, put them on your warm skin to get them where you need to go with them. Um, because like I said, I mean, they're not dead till they're warm and dead. That other one, this one might actually be starting to move. I can't tell. But I'm gonna pause, get everybody warm, and then um, I'll show you more video. But here's a starter. Okay, some of them are starting to warm. I can see at least three that are for sure moving, um, taking breaths. And like I said, I still don't see any blood pooling in toenails or anything yet, which means they all still have a chance um, until, like I said, until they're totally warm and not moving. But everybody's still pretty cold. And rabbit babies have a, a way of slowing down their heart rate, you know, in situations that, you know, are life-threatening. So hopefully I can get at least few of them warm back up but I'm gonna pause again okay while the babies are inside warming up I came out to check on Jara see what she's doing um, here's the hair she pulled for her nest but the nest she actually had them in is back in that corner so I'm gonna take this hair in and put it in a box with the babies and I'm actually gonna shelf the babies for tonight um, it's just ridiculously cold and I am pretty sure if I give them all back to her tonight that they'll all be dead by morning. But I'm going to go ahead and take this in and, like I said, shelf them tonight. And then I'll bring them back out to her tomorrow and have her take them then. Okay, so they're basically warm again. Um, the four that aren't moving are still not completely warm. So I will give them a little bit of time still. Um, but I don't think those four are going to make it. These three over here are moving and doing well. Um... I brought in just a little box and went out and took the hair she had actually pulled for them and put in the box. And tonight, these three guys are going to go in the box. And I'm actually going to leave them here a minute on the edge of this. Um, this is my heat pad. And I keep one of these handy for rabbits and everything like that. I'm going to leave them sit on that. I'm going to give these guys until the blood starts pulling. Um, because then I'll know for sure that they're dead. Um, oh, there's some noisy babies. But I, I don't look for any of these for to actually come back. Um, they're, they're they're pretty warm to the touch. I mean, they've got some cold spots on them still, but I'm pretty sure they're gone. I just always like to be totally sure, so I always wait for blood pooling. Um, but at least I managed to save 
three, if I hadn't gone out to check on her, those three would have been gone too. Um, but like I said, I'm going to give these guys a little bit, and then once I get the blood pulling, I'll show you what that looks like so that if you ever have baby rabbits that you're not sure about, you'll have an idea. Okay, guys, so those four definitely did not make it, but I wanted to show you what the blood pulling looks like. So see the fingernails? See how dark they are? That's what blood pooling looks like. And if you give me a second, I'll pull out one of the living babies. Okay. See how its fingernails don't have that darkness like the dead one does? Um, so you wait on that to be sure that they're gone. Um, they can also get blood pooling like in their actual body. Let me see if anybody... This one's starting to get a little bit. See the dark coloring there? That's where the blood is settling, where it's been laying on its side. Um, the other thing is, so if you look these guys over, they've got a few injuries where she was a first time mom. Um, she was a little rough with them, probably kicked them. That one's got some bad scratches on it. Um, I don't love first time moms who are like that but I am test breeding for the cataracts, so I'm gonna have to probably breed her again so I can find out who carries cataracts and who doesn't. But like I said, these four did not make it. Um, the other three are going to be shelf the night and give them back to her in the morning. Um, and I'll make a video showing you guys how I give them back and how that's gonna work and everything. But like I said, I just wanted you to know what the blood pooling looks like so you can know, you know what you're looking for to be sure whether or not they're alive or dead and like I said these guys are all warm now and there's still no movement so they're definitely gone but okay thanks. hey guys sometimes you win some sometimes you lose some the three survivors when I got this morning were gone um, they didn't make it through the night um, it doesn't mean that that's not a good way to do it because you can usually bring them back I don't know why these guys didn't come all the way back um, and so instead of showing you guys how to reintroduce babies after you've shoved them to her. I'll actually just be rebreeding her later today and getting another litter out of her in a month so I can test for the cataracts. But I just wanted to let you guys know and update that these guys did not make it through the night despite the fact I had managed to bring them back. But there it is. Thanks guys for stopping by.